What's up, y'all? Welcome to the channel Neo Digital Podcast. I'm your homie, Jolly, one half of the Neo Digital Podcast. Here with my name is Dinanu YouTube. What's going on? Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. So um now <laughs> we're we're looking at the new trailer for uh Earwig and the Witch, which is a Studio Ghibli movie. And you may notice something a little bit different. This is a CG, a full fledged PlayStation CGI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. It does look like a play. It looks more like PlayStation 3, but yeah. Um, yeah, this Blue is. Dragon. Yeah, yeah. Well, Blue Dragon, they're, they're the ones that. No, that wasn't. That wasn't. Um, Steel Ghibli. No, that was that, uh, Akira, Akira Toriyama. Toriyama. Yeah. But it's the same um, kind of color scheme and stuff. Kind, yep. So, so this is a full-fledged CG uh, animated movie, uh, more in the liking to Pixar, but less detail and textures that Pixar would do. Mm. Um, I would think this is their first C- like first first full-fledged CGI movie, um, and this was made by Akira Toriyama's son. Mm. I other guy. No, it's his son. You said it. You said Akira Toriyama. He he just. Oh my off. goodness! Thank you. <laughs> Miyazaki. Thank you. Not Akira. Yeah, Hayao Miyazaki. Who boy? Any fans watching this right now? Please, please. <laughs> I'm horrible with names. All right, don't 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 kill me. Okay, don't don't get at me with your with your weeb skills, fucking <laughs> fast typing and shit. Um. <clears throat> So in this article, they they go over like things that they they go over things that they didn't like, mm. and I'm looking at it and I'm like, ugh, it looks it looks weird, but there's there's a few things missing from it, mm-hmm. but there's also a huge like there's a huge spark of of like original OG Studio Ghibli, mm. and I feel like this movie be the catalyst for that and hopefully they will learn from it and grow from it because the first first toy story when you go back and look at Mm -hmm. it compared to like everything else not as great not as great not as detailed stuff like that it it looked like this it looked like it was a it was something that was picking up steam to do something and what was good about toy story was like the story yeah if the story is good on here I'll overlook every every yeah. aspect of this thing, but yeah, visually, good characters and and everything else falls into place. And I mean, yeah, people probably won't care about visuals at that point. It's just, mm-hmm. it. I mean, at least judging by the picture, it looks like the characters got different personalities. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a cutesy kids movie. I know I haven't seen the trailer yet, but um, it, it looks like it's going to fit the mold at least. I mean, the only the only thing I'm worried about is. When I think Studio Ghibli, mm-hmm. I think certain things. And one of the things is like like the little girl on the right hand side of the video, they do their eyes very a, a very particular way. Mm-hmm. And I when I when I look at the picture, it's like I can see where they tried, but mm-hmm. I feel like it hit the mark. <laughs> or well, no, I'm sorry, that I missed the mark, rather. Did, yeah, I missed the mark. Yeah. So let's go ahead and watch it and you'll see all the stuff that makes this a Studio Ghibli movie. Okay. Blow this up. <clears throat> or better yet, now let me keep it down there. No, the display button. Oh, you can blow it out and then, like, uh, can you blow it out and remove the pictures? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. I can do that. We're interactive like that on this channel, you know? Hey. <laughs> All right, is that playing for you? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I don't got no sound on mine, but. Oh, damn, that look good. Good. Go back to that meat and that pot, man. They get me hungry. All right. Am I like, you know, let me hit this pause button real quick. Am I like the only one who's getting like the devil horns vibe based on her haircut? I think I think her name is Earwig. And when when you look at like an actual earwig bug, they have like horns. Oh, uh, like okay. That makes sense. Symbolism. Well, so what's this about like an orphanage or something? All these I would kids? think so. Ah, okay, there's the Studio Ghibli eyes. Oh shit!
Uh, that's the best. Uh, that's Cruella DeVille. So she gets adopted by this weird family and they're evil as hell. Well, they're witches. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it was in the title. <laughs> I like the little slime creature. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, so you're pouring oil into the wall, into the fire. Uh, that face she made, though, she, no fucks were given, yo. <laughs> 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 Like, you know, it's like, like the guy in the background is like, no, you're messing on my potion. And she's like, fuck your potion. Yeah, fuck your potion. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've seen that cute cat before. But maybe, in, you know, in, in movies, they always try to throw cute animals to distract them, distract the audience from bad movie making. Mm hmm. That's not okay. Bad. I mean, I didn't okay. hear the audio side of things, but yeah, they, yeah, it yeah, didn't look that bad. It was Japanese. Um, they, they, that's all you need to know. It was just Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what everyone is saying is one: there's no texture, right? Mm. It's not as detailed as as like a Pixar thing, okay. and it doesn't feel like Studio Ghibli. That's the gist of the article. I feel like that's so wrong. Mm. There, there. I can understand one part that's like it doesn't feel like a Studio Ghibli movie. One, it's not going to feel like a Studio Ghibli movie because it's CG. Yeah. We know 2D has always been Studio Ghibli's thing. Mm -hmm. That's why we love it so much. Um, now, here's here's the other thing. Hayao Miyazaki's gone. Yeah. Nobody is going to get to his level of detail like he did. Yeah. He would take so long to make movies because he he was watching every single frame, every every frame was a was a painting with with his work, mm -hmm. and everything was traditional. That's not the medium right now. His son, technically, his son has made other films before, and they have not done as well as his father as well as his father's. Were they like this? Were no. they three like D and stuff? They were they were two D. Okay. But they 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 didn't have like there were things that was missing, like it was one it was less frames, so mm. the I movie feel like when didn't I didn't feel mm -hmm. right you know whenever they do less frames yeah exactly, um like when I, when I watch these movies uh, when I watch like a, a original Studio Ghibli film it's like I'm watching sixty to one hundred and twenty frames a second it, everything I, I, is I, flowing. I can still watch Princess Mononoke and Spirited Away and oh, be blown goodness. away with with some of the shots bro to this day. Bro, How's Moving Castle, my goodness, mm -hmm. amazing stuff, amazing. In in the other films by the Sun, it didn't register to me like uh, like, like it was any of the, the spark that, that yeah. was the classic Ghibli movies. Yeah, which is why he didn't take over earlier. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, yeah. It's it was something that his dad had to do. And this, to me, feels similar to that. It's like an ode to, to the old way, but mm -hmm. also the new way of doing things. So when I watched this, I was like, yeah, there's not a whole lot level of detail in, in the characters. But when the environments is stood out, like, yeah. yo, those are Studio Ghibli type environments. That's what I'm used to. So specifically, if you can, can you play it for a second? Yeah. Let me just mute it. All right. I'll like that, right? Pause it. Uh, pause it at the dude's face. Right there. That's fine. I don't know. I, I get it. Yeah. That character, he, it's unique. So, one, you mm. see a lot of unique characters in the original Studio Ghibli movie. They all don't look the same. Yeah. So, like, long, extruding noses, smaller chins, larger chins, 
you know, yeah, I think I was looking at the at the witch lady's nose, and I was thinking yeah. of like I was like, damn, you could poke some eye out with that nose. <laughs> so like like her, but you also like body frames too. So when yeah. she showed up, like her frame was like smaller and and oddly shaped, <laughs> bad built bitch. <laughs> but yeah, I noticed that like, um, when they were walking into the house and it showed them walk through mm-hmm. the gate, and it just showed her like being this tall, and the guy was this tall. Yeah, <laughs> like but that's that's what that's what studio movies are like. I mean, movies are like. All the characters are very, very unique. Mm. Um, aside from the kids, the only uniqueness about them is like the hair. But with these characters, I'm like, okay, nope, that's that's Ghibli. You know, mm. their their character models are really good. He's cooking all that food, all the details of the meat and peas and mm-hmm. stuff in there, detailed. Go forward a little bit, just, just like play it. Like when you see this kind of stuff, it's that. It feels like that. Yeah. Um. This part, not so much. I like how the old man looked like. Uh. uh oh. To oh. Oh. You know what? Pause that right quick. Go back to that old man. I don't know the, if you know the one, this. The one cooking or the the magic? Guy? No, the one that got scared. Oh, like okay. a few frames. Right. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. So there is a there's a short film. You know, you know all those Pixar short films that they do, the Pixar shorts. Mm. There's one that has an old man in it playing chess. I think it was like right before Bugs Life or something like that. Mm. Um, he's playing chess and he has his hat like just like that. He has his suit just like that, and he's like playing chess. And then you you see him stand up right, and he goes to the other side of the chessboard and he's looking. And then he he moves a piece, and then he stands up again, and then he gets to the other side of chess. That's, that's going to be a long chess game. You might as well just reach your room, reach across so, the board. <laughs> so it, what happened was it you see it, and it's like okay, he's playing with himself, and then it's it starts getting faster and faster until it's like he's actually like it looks like he's another person, mm. and he's like mm, and he's looking at the other dude, and Got then the, power the other guy, speed force. yeah, basically, <laughs> and the other dude's looking at him, he's like. So that means he literally got up the whole time and he's playing all these parts before the other guy. He, that's the that looks like the character. Mm. So and why I say that that may be an Easter egg is because Studio Ghibli uses Pixar for their voice acting. Oh. So when they send when they send Studio Ghibli movies over to America, they go through Pixar to get their their voice actors. That's why you hear you remember the guy from Cheers? The um the mailman, yeah, yeah, the guy that got yeah. mustache. Yes, you know, like in in every Pixar movie, he's a character. He he was no, he was the that. oh my goodness, yeah, he was the big rig in Cars. He hmm. was he was the flea that ran the circus in A Bug's Life. He was Pig uh, or Ham in Toy Story. Yeah, he's he's been a, he's been in damn near every single Pixar movie and every single Studio Ghibli movie as well. Damn, that's cool. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Um, I don't know if he's still around though, unfortunately. But well, hopefully he is. <laughs> hopefully he is. Um, but every time, yeah. So they would send him over to Pixar, and they would get. That's why, because because he worked with Pixar so much, they always use his voice. He's basically like the Stan Lee of Pixar. <laughs> because he's he's in every damn it every movie every studio Ghibli movie, um, so seeing that and knowing that, I think that chess game was mm. their first Pixar short that they included with A Bug's Life, or it was either with A Bug's Life or Toy Story, and that would just kind of be an ode to hey Pixar, you know what I mean? Mm. This is their first two D. There, it looks like a Pixar type movie, you know it's. It's dope, and if they send it over to America, they're probably going to use Pixar again for the voice acting. Um, if you go forward, <clears throat> like the, I'm picking out all the parts that like just like stand out at Studio mm-hmm. Ghibli. Again, character differences, amazing. That wide open sets. You know what I mean? Like that shows distance and visuals. Oh no, you can keep going for there's there's better stuff than that. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna take it back to the boat. But the movie definitely looks fun, I will say that. Oh, look at oh my goodness. That this right here. 
like the magic. Mm. You know, like you know, that's how in in regular Studio Ghibli movies they put magic in it, and like the mm. magic is so fantastical that it's like, whoa, that's different. Mm. Uh, Kiki's delivery service, <clears throat> the magic was her flying mm. with her broomstick, finally being able to lift off and fly. Um, you got the magic in in uh spirit spirited away. Mm-hmm. Or or no, sorry, Princess Mononoke. Okay. When that the too. when the hawk was like bleeding and stuff yeah. and all that gook and stuff was coming out. Um far, spirited far, away. Far spirit from Princess Mononoke oh, too. The far spirit, my goodness. Um the dragon mm-hmm. is spirited away. Shit, damn it, everything is spirited every, away. Everything in that movie. I was everything. <laughs> like the, even the no monster. face. My good, yeah, no face, yeah, I'll, yeah, like goop and, and gold and all that stuff, and then you have this guy. This is this is when you see the turn. It's like, oh, you thought that this wasn't going to be fantastical, and then mm-hmm. you see this thing growing and the the particle effects coming off of him. He's glowing purple. It's it's like, yeah, they took their time. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, they made that look good. And look at that, like just the, the face, the looks, the way they move. I would say as soon as you go into their house with all the pots, oh, like like I was shit. getting um I was getting what's that uh you brought it up uh, a few times when we did a, a video a little while ago. The one with the dancing brooms and stuff. Um Oh, oh, um the Disney movie. Yeah, uh, uh Fantasia. Yeah. Like I was getting Fantasia vibes with all this, like how do you gonna clean all this up, you know, and use magic. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, like that that look that like that area, mm. Howl's Moving Castle. You remember uh, in when Howl was in the bathroom, and he he had all those potions and like it. Did you see Howl's Moving Castle? I've seen part of it, not the whole thing. Oh, fuck it. All right, never mind. So <laughs> so it, he he went into the tub and he got into this tub and and there was colors. He basically because he's a witch, mm. he brews potions. And of course, why wouldn't you make your own bath bombs? You fucking witch. <laughs> so, so he had he was in the water, and there was all these different potions in the water, and they turned watercolors. It stained the floor. It was like little jars and pots everywhere with like mm. goop dripping out of it. It looked like that. Um, in uh, Kiki's delivery service, there was another like witch area that had a bunch of stuff in it where they had to clean it out because it was like her living quarters. Oh, uh, ooh, uh, spirited away, same thing. You remember she had to clean up and mm-hmm. and all the different things. Like that's a mix between. Uh, you remember the 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 guy the creature that was like opening up drawers and taking out stuff and he was grinding stuff with the little dust mites. Mm-hmm. You remember like how his how his room looked? It was just like a bunch of shelves everywhere. It's like Studio Ghibli is like really great at environments. Their environments mm-hmm. are so detailed. There's so much stuff to look at. It's so cluttered, but yet so large. It's like that's that's all Ghibli. Yeah. That's amazing stuff. You can keep going for it. Yeah, they do that very well. And I was reminded with a lot of that with the next couple scenes when they showed them making potions or what I assume to be potions in this. Yeah, yeah, man. Now, now the only thing they really look at that—that's that looks fucking dope. Oh, and the <laughs> the, the the faces mm-hmm. still just all about yeah. making like these really vibrant, like expressive faces. Yeah, that's, that's so. Cool. The, that's that. the only thing that that where it's like it's the three D kind of takes me out of it but that that's what pulls me back into it it's like Mm -hmm. okay it don't look like a studio ghibli movie when it comes to the characters but then they do stuff like this where it's like okay i can you know now that's what i'm saying (laughs) it's like it it mixes it'd be like oh here here's remember here's some more stuff here's some more studio ghibli stuff you know what i mean but it's not yeah it kind of reminds me of like let's say like if studio ghibli wanted to make an americanized movie that's mm. what it, this feels like. It's a blend of the two, where it's like they're not trying to go full Studio Ghibli, but they're not trying to make. Oh, let's try to take over Pixar. It's like they're trying to yeah. do like we want to make one of our movies, but make it more Western to yeah. agree with our, our you know with our viewing practices versus theirs over in Japan. I hope they don't do that though. It's like that's yeah, the reason really why. <laughs> 
see, this is where it doesn't feel like Studio Ghibli. Mm. Like the other, the other reason why it doesn't feel like it is, my goodness, that's so funny. <laughs> the other reason it doesn't feel like it is, it's there's not enough frames. Yeah, it's not as flowy. Everything mm. is kind of stiff. You know, that's what it's, I don't like about the, uh, CG. Yeah, it's it's the same. Like, I need very very flowing stuff because that's what that pause at. Oh my yeah, goodness, look at that. Ghibli. Yeah, that's that's, that's all, all right. Studio Ghibli. I've seen it so many times, like that's that that road, open road, grass and water. Mm. Like it's it's Kiki's like the delivery begin- service. It's like at the beginning of the movie, or that, or at like the end of the Bro, movie. So much, so much is oh, like films are always by the water because it's so beautiful. Yeah. They, they they paint they paint water and grass fields amazing. Mm. And, man, that's that's when you know it's like oh yeah, it's yeah. the environment pulls you into a Studio Ghibli movie. The characters take you away from it. Mm. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The environment pull you in, and the characters take you away because nothing is flowing like mm. in a Studio Ghibli movie. Like even Studio Ghibli movies, like as they move, their hair moves. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like yeah, no, the, it I, I know exactly what you mean. The outfit on, on their bodies kind of moves and stuff like that. It kind of reminds me of that that older Americanized animation, but it's better done. Mm-hmm. And that could be a, a limit to just CG. When I when I watch CG animes or stuff like that, it's like it's always slow as shit. You know, looking at you, Berserk. You know, the new Berserk anime, but it's like it's it's like there's a limit to like how many frames or how many or how fast you can be. I mean, I can assume you can make it 120 frames or 60 or whatever. But it's like I think when they do that, maybe it renders longer because like Spider Verse. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Spider Verse. It, it takes is, a long time. Yeah, like Spider Verse, from what I hear, took like years to for them to make. But even that, when I'm watching the movie, I was like, "This is fucked up." The frame rate was fucking off. <laughs> the whole fucking well, <laughs> Spider Verse in Spider Verse, they talked about that. They talked about how they did a weird frame rate because mm-hmm. they wanted to get a certain look of the movie. Uh, and they okay. also, yeah, that was on purpose. Uh, I and think they fucked that up, but that's me. That's somebody who I, looks at frame rates and stuff. The average person probably don't care. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, honestly playing at 60 frames per second or 120 or whatever like that on PC. Yeah. It's like watching that shit. I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. But mm. if you look past it, you kind of get used to it. But with with that, they did a mix of regular traditional 2D and 3D. Okay. So they were they were basically combining it and putting texture on texture on texture and then moving that too. So it was a different way they animated that too that that took a long time because they were basically learning it as they go. Mm. Um, I can't really think of any 3D movie that has that much movement in it that a Studio Ghibli movie has. I can't think of none either because when it comes to 3D, you have to animate and move all of that shit. Yeah. And they have to get frames of all of that movement. So they made it's 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 a whole lot easier not to do it. And maybe that's why maybe they try to stick to that cinema standard, which is I think what, 24 or 30? Yeah. And, and that could be, you know, <clears throat> why they don't do it either. Honestly, you can have physics, right? You can have mm-hmm. a computer do physics on like clothes and water, yeah. and it makes it look more realistic. But that's the issue is that when you make a computer do physics on it, it looks too realistic. When when a Studio Ghibli person does it by hand, it's deliberate. Yeah, yeah they can it hand looks draw everything, yeah. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I hope that, that this is just like a one-off, maybe mm. one or two. But I would love them to go back to the original 2D animations because I feel like that's a lost art form that's going away. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, but like you just said, it's, it's, yeah, I hope that, I mean, I don't mind them doing this, but I don't want them to stop 2D to do this. Yeah. Um, not yeah, by same. any means. I mean, if, if like, yeah, if the 2D movies aren't going to be as good as the classic ones, then hey, it is what it is. Learn, learn your style, do your own mm-hmm. thing. Try to be something better than the, the classics if you can. Yeah. You know, but, um, or- I mean, or just put more frames in it. Like, like yeah. if you if you don't if you're gonna replace it, I need I need more frames. I need that same level I mean, of detail. 
I know they can do it. Like, give me a 3D Studio Ghibli movie. Like, like they can do that shit. It may, may take more time, may take more effort, may take more of those dollar bills, but tell me that wouldn't look awesome if you had a full 3D movie wow. that, that moved and performed and was animated like a classic Goodness. Ghibli movie. That should be fucking awesome. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's... I I'll mean, give them benefit of the doubt. I'll, I'll, I'll give them, like, eight eight years. Yeah, you know, you know I know. That's, like I, that's two or three movies from now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Once they figure out their style, once the technology, if it's you know technology limiting them, once mm-hmm. that catches up to where they can do it, hey, I'm all for it. But um, it's just, I don't know. Maybe we're saying all this out of context because maybe when we watch, let's say, the full movie, we won't think that it doesn't be you know doesn't feel like a Ghibli movie. It could be not um, the frames ain't there even in the trailer, bro. <laughs> I know, but you know, you know, people just because they put up a trailer don't mean it's gonna be the final product. It could be that too. No, this is the this is the trailer. Oh well, it could be the first trailer. Maybe maybe yeah. they just cut the trailer. But I need to wait. When is the movie coming out? Uh, because if it's coming out soon, then that means the, it's already it's done. Set, set the air Japanese channel on December thirtieth. So yeah, no, nope, it's already channel. done. Yeah, that's that trailer. That's the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Shot me down. Okay, I was trying to give him some credit. Hey, I mean <laughs> again because I remember I remember the first Toy Story. Yeah, first Toy Story wasn't went all that hot, man. Like it was, it was amazing because it was new. Mm-hmm. But every every year <laughs> after that, they just started improving on it. And, so yeah, in the vein of Toy Story, it always amazed me that how they can go back with every movie and make it look better and better and mm-hmm. better and better, and it's the same characters. <laughs> it's that it's that render, man. It's yeah. like the the render that for the textures. Technology. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like I would need to see that with this. Like the rendering is going to get better, but at the same time, I like the way they're they're doing. I don't <clears throat> I don't want a bunch of level of detail mm. in this because that's not what the detail in a Studio Ghibli movie isn't about scratches or or like not little small characters. specks it's, of it's dust on the characters. Around the characters. It's the environment. Yep. It's every blade of grass or or every like every slice top. in the grain, like in a grain of wood and everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's you. that kind of detail. It's like somebody was just perfectionists with it. Yeah, man. Just like get the environment right, everything else will, everything else will look beautiful. This is so close. The environment close. I need characters to be the same way though, mm. I, and I'll be great with that. All right, well, I hope they get there in the future. Yeah. All right. So, uh, ending thoughts. Are, are you going to see? Hell yeah! Finish? Yeah. <laughs> Well, he, see, here's the thing. Probably not. Mm. I, I want to say yeah, but more than likely not because it's hard for me to watch Japanese movies with with Japanese um, dub mm. because I don't want to sit there and be like, okay, read and then watch, read well, and then if watch. They push this for a Western audience. You you know they're gonna dub it and bring it over. So yeah, but it may be a while before they do that yeah. because it may, it may be a year or two. Yeah, it may be a year or two. And I was I was sitting there waiting on um there was another movie I had downloaded, but I never watched it because unfortunately it's it's the Japanese dub mm. and it doesn't have subtitles. I'm like, why does it not have subtitles? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's um it's something in the witch. I for, I forgot what it was, but it's it's something in the witch. Or the witch's flower or something like that. Mm. And I think it's in here somewhere. Um where, where the title was. But let me see here. Um, scroll down. Um, not saying I'm talking about anything else. Nah. Okay. Yeah, but it was like something in the witch in the witch's flower or something like that. And I hated that I had to sit there and like listen to the Japanese dub. And even mm. even if it it has subtitles, that means I have to try to read the subtitles and then look up at something I missed. And every, like I don't want to miss a frame. I just yeah. want to listen to it. And Studio Ghibli have been, has been really great with their English dub. And well, Pixar has been great with dubbing mm. and not missing the context. Getting all the context as perfect as possible mm. while doing it in English. And the voice acting is still amazing. Same inflection, everything. It's 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 amazing. So if this doesn't have English, I don't really want to watch it. 
but I I want to because I want to I want to see what if it's a train wreck or not. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be a train wreck. I mean, I look at other I mean other movies that let's say we've done. Like I I still haven't seen Frozen. I heard a lot of people love that. So if this you know even if this is only tailored to kids, kids would watch something like this. So I mean I don't think it's gonna completely completely flop for them. I mean you know they're gonna get some money from it. But, you know, it is what it is. I hope that they could just, I mean, if, if they want to, to, to make this their new style going forward. Um, I mean, I know I would hate that, but if that's what they want to do, and hey, look, we all got to grow, things change, and uh, it is what it is. What's but, your thoughts? Are those your thoughts? Well, that, and I think it's uh, I think it's fun. I mean, it, it looks like a fun movie to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so if, they, if it could just be a fun movie with quirky characters when it looks like, the kids are going to be quirky. The magic's going to be quirky. You got the, the, the older, the man and the woman magic, or the witches, I guess you could say. The, uh, all the cool magical stuff looks, looks fucking amazing. So, I mean, yeah. it's, it, it looks like it's going to be a, a fantastic movie. <laughs> to I, just, I just thought about like her pouring, pouring that liquid into that fire. That should, that should be the thumbnail. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Like a book. laughs> Um, uh, but anyways, YouTube, if you guys want us to talk about any other Studio Ghibli movie or uh, any other anime movie that, you know, you may know about, just let us know down in the comments below and uh, we could possibly make it happen. Yep. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.